hey guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to learn make clear the concept the basic concept of MVC model view controller uh, previously we have done this some customization here and edit edit a route and we can just click on this post and uh, go to the post view and but here we have not implemented the concept of MVC yet uh, because uh, we did not create any controller or we did not create any model we just created a view and by clicking on this link we just get the view this is a shortcut way that Laravel is uh, giving us uh, Laravel is uh, allowing us to view the blade file or the view file but if we go uh, uh, through the core concept of, uh, of MVC uh, we should not use this type of routing and as uh, okay uh, so it is also ha having some more concerns like if I just log out of this account and by the URL I'll try to uh, access that file and when I do this thing we will get uh, some error like this it is the uh, attempt to read property name this name is the user name user's name and because we are not logged in so we get this error and to avoid this uh, we can use this middleware auth auth middleware uh, in order to uh, avoid or to stop others uh, accessing our uh, pages uh, to avoid others or guests from accessing our pages let's say we can add the middleware and the middleware is auth middleware now if we just to uh, try to access the post uh, view uh, will be redirected to our login page and uh, if we are logged in then there is no need to go there okay so it's working fine but again we don't have the concept of a model view controller because we have not accessed any controller or any model what is what actually is controller and what is model controller if we come to our app folder and come to the http here we have a folder called controller and controller can give us uh, more power uh, to transfer data to our view share data to our view and which data where we can take that data from the model and where can we find the models again inside this the same f folder we have models under the http folder and this model is basically connected to the database uh, tables to the database tables and it can uh, get data from database table actually it is a blueprint of our database table and the user uh, sorry and the name of our uh, model should match the name of the table uh, inside our database let's say the name of the model uh, is user and the name of the table should be users so it is uh, like uh, okay it is working fine uh, let's come here users and we just created in the first uh, videos second or third video created a migration for our posts as well so we have the post table in our uh, database but we don't have any model for that yet as i said model are the blueprints of the database table so for each table or for almost each table we should have a model so with that said we have to create a model for our post table as well and name it as post because and in, in database we have the plural and for the model we must have the singular so how to create that model uh, let's say again open the terminal and let's go to uh, this uh, terminal php artisan and make model and space in the model name let's say model name should be post if you enter we'll get a post model here 
here you go and uh, let me close this here you go we got and this post will refer to this table posts because their name and uh, they both made their both their names match to each other and inside this we have to declare some uh, things like which uh, mm, uh, for the post table which fields are we allowed to update or to uh, modify so we can use this uh, the fillable uh, fillable variable and inside an array we can name all the fields that we have created in our migration let's say if we come to our migration uh, for the posts we created the title the content and the user id uh, we don't need to mention this type stamps because laravel can take care of and this id uh, but if you do it it does not matter again uh, we can just use this three one title content and user id so i'll just put title and content and user id so it uh, it clearly says that we are allowed to um, we are allowed to uh, modify these uh, contents let's save it okay got an error what is the error let's say protect it the access modifier yeah the and protect it fill level and then do we have this in our users folder as well yeah fill level and inside the fill level the same thing protect it so here again we have the same thing and now our model is ready we have to create our controller uh, to complete the concept of mvc so how can we create the controller we again will open the terminal and again with the same command php artisan make instead of model we will write controller and uh, for a controller name i'll write post controller and we have like a, a resource controller and normal controller the resource controller is having some necessary methods included in its own but if you just create a simple controller you will not find those uh, uh, methods inside it so if you want a, a resource controller you can just pass the dash dash r flag let's say dash r only yeah only one dash r and in now let's move to http folder controllers and here we have the post controller by passing that flag we will get this um, uh, primary and default methods let's say index create store show edit and update and destroy methods and they will help us in the in our next videos so now we'll go we can just change this route to uh, mvc route and we will go to our controller and from the controller we will just uh, try to access the view that will be a better way than this one and from there we might pass some title something like that as well how to do that that is again very easy i'll comment down this one and write another route route uh, if we get a get request which type of get request post where to go uh, here we have to write the uh, controller name let's say post controller class and to which method as i uh, just uh, showed you that here we have multiple methods and the the method which is mostly used for accessing the uh, on showing the records or just uh, the default method that is index to show the only the uh, the front page of that url which we are accessing let's say here we are accessing the post post so we'll have to uh, we have to point out this index method here and we'll just write index let's say okay here by doing this one if i refresh here we get nothing because it's saying that target class post controller does not exist that is because we have not included it here we have to import it let's say app slash 
http slash and inside the http we have the controllers and inside the controller we have post controller and that's it let's refresh again we will get an error again that is post controller class does not exist again it's saying it's not controllers Mm. oh it is it might it should not be inside the single quote so it is without quotations and the next error is that it is not error but it is saying that i have reached this method in index.php how let's type a written statement here return uh, um, hello from controller hello from controller and if i refresh it here you go we got the message here we can um, uh, pass data let's say um, if we just pass there some data from uh, our sidebar let's say if somebody clicks okay so here we can pass uh, the view or we can simply pass this message or any other variable now i'm trying to pass the view that we need for our post so i say return view and inside which view the posts view so this must match something in our view folder view folder and here we have post start player so it is matching let me save it and refresh it Okay, view posts not found. Okay, post singular. And it is saying that route post not defined. The route is also not defined for the post. That is because uh, here in our sidebar we have used the uh, route name. And uh, for the new route, I did not mention any name here so it is that's why it's not working for the first thing i'll use the middleware uh, to handle the uh, security issue and not allow anyone to access this url without authentication the second one i'll use the name method uh, to and just make the access easier now it is right and now it is the um controller and view concept yes still we have not implemented the uh, model we can go to the dashboard and we can go to the post and this view is coming from the controller now it is not directly uh, fetching the view but it is going to the post controller and in the index function and from the index function it gets the view returns the view uh, to us and here if you want some data from the post table we can fetch from the model and pass it to our view let's say uh, I want uh, some day uh, like title for our page so I say title equal which title it is post page posts page and I'll pass the data with this one with for the view I will put in array associative array let's say title and which they use the variable save it and refresh it here we passed but we did not access so i'll use instead of this post i will use the uh, variable here we have the variable and instead of this one i'll just write title because we send we sent the data from the controller we can access it here posts page and this is the benefits of it it is working instead of echo if it was php we would do something like this php and close the php and here let's say echo uh, echo word title and we could do the same thing and it is working as in the pure php and with the short form we can we could use this one but because it is laravel we don't need to do that one and with simply writing this one it is also needed to use this this title 
and that is working fine so uh, now again we have not in, uh, included the view the, uh, the sorry the model because the model gets the data it is model is a blueprint of database table so it will get data from the database and yet we don't have any data inside our posts table in the database in the next video uh, we will uh, complete this one i don't want to get the uh, video uh, much long so thank you for this video